You know I'll turn that down, Brandon, so you don't have that annoying feedback whistle sound uh, waking up our audience this morning for another uh, Friday morning edition of Let's Talk Geneseo. I'm Keith Kennett, along with uh, co-host Brandon Megalin. And again, we'd like to thank you for uh, tuning in on this kind of, uh, uh, we have one, we have all microphones full. And then we will have uh, an extra guest coming in at some point also. So this is as much as we can literally pack into a program today, Brandon. We're going to have to expand the studio. <laughs> we, anybody got a sledgehammer? We, we, uh, uh, we are. We'll have to move out some of the... Maybe we'll move out some of the noisy equipment in the background. And uh, while we're doing that, we'll see if we can work on that PA speaker too. But uh, uh, if we didn't have that, we wouldn't know when to end the program. So maybe we'll leave that one alone. Yeah. But uh, full program this morning, and Brandon, will turn the uh, ship, as we always do, over to you as we uh, introduce uh, our guest for today. All right. Well, it is officially, Zach just said it a few minutes ago, Christmas Walk Eve in Geneseo. Yeah. Let's hear it for that. Yeah. Come on. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we're, we're a few hours out from the, the big hurrah tomorrow, Christmas Walk in Geneseo. So that's going to be our focus today. We're joined by Zach Sullivan. Uh, director of the Geneseo Chamber of Commerce. Commerce. We also have Scott Freeman in the studio, the glass man of glass What's man going on, Geneseo? detailing with us. Um, he's joining us too. Uh, Police Chief Casey Disterhoff is also in the studio, and we may have another officer stopping by as well. Um, a little bit later on, we're going to be doing a drawing, a fundraiser that the glass man did for the police department's impact program. So stand by for that. We'll get into that a little bit later, but we're going to start by talking about Christmas walk. So, Zach, you know, you're the man here. What, uh, what's the schedule? What's the lineup? You know, what are the highlights that people should be looking forward to? Everybody's thinking weather. Earlier this week, you know, it was, it was looking a little iffy, but uh, my phone says it's looking good. Yeah, we're ready for an awesome event this weekend. It's the 38th annual Geneseo Christmas Walk. And uh, we're looking forward to a big crowd. The weather has improved. Um, earlier this week, I was saying we will not be able to set up the luminaries if that forecast held. And everything's cleared out. And we're moving, for we're moving forward with all the luminaries and setting all that up. So we're looking forward to that. Um, we have the Jingle Run 5K. Uh, that's going to be first thing tomorrow to kick everything off. And that is, uh, you know, holly jolly 5K run. We give the runners bells so they jingle while they run. And this is the 13th year we've done that in Geneseo. And we have 140 uh, runners pre-registered, so it's going to be a big crowd, and we expect a lot of same-day registers, uh, people to register also. And so we might have a record turnout for the Jingle Run, and uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, that, that'll wrap up around 10.30. Uh, we have a call for volunteers at 10.30 if we could get some volunteers up to the city park to help us set up the luminaries, because that's a big job. And the more uh, helping hands we have, we can get the job done in less than an hour. But we definitely need some people there to uh, help out. Scott, yeah, Scott's waving. <laughs> you know I'm going to be there. And so um, we will need some help uh, from uh, 1030 to noon setting up all the luminaries at the city park. And then uh, we shut down the streets at 1 o'clock, right? We kind of clear out all the traffic, and then we start set up at 2 uh, with some of the vendors coming downtown. And uh, when I say vendors, we have kettle corn, of course. That's a staple of the Christmas walk event. We'll have the, some churches who are giving away hot cocoa or s'more stations. And then uh, we start setting up all the barricades for crowd safety. And the city helps us out a lot with that, with setting up kind of the looper cones and the string that kind of holds the crowd back. But this year, Freedom Barricade Services will be joining us to help us uh, keep the crowd safe on the north side of the tracks. Previously, we weren't able to uh, provide that kind of uh, crowd control over there. So um, that's going to be a new change, and that'll be nice, something to keep the crowd a little safer. Um, the main event's at 5 o'clock, the Lighted Parade. And um, there will be a lot of uh, musical entertainment and children's activities throughout the afternoon, right? The whole event crescendos. When we say 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., it's a crescendo, right? You kind of start off with the jingle run, but then what do you do in the morning? Go shopping. Go eat. Go support our small businesses because they're open. It's their biggest day of the year. And this is a pro tip. You know, you will beat the crowds and get those deals before anyone else gets it off the shelves by going early. So shop early, shop often, and shop Geneseo. Um, five o'clock, we have the lighted parade. We have 42 entries, I believe, this year. So we have a huge parade. Uh, the, the Quad City Hot Air Balloon Festival will return. So those uh, fireballs that were shooting in the air last year, we'll have those back. And um, so after the parade, we light the uh, Christmas tree. And the Christmas tree will be lit at about uh, 545. Um, the Geneseo Community Choir will be uh, performing and leading the crowd and singing Oh Christmas Tree from the 
uh, porch of the Geneseo Historical Museum. And then from 6 to 8, it's just a cornucopia of holiday entertainment downtown. There's so many sights and sounds and smells with different live music happening everywhere. Geneseo Panic will be playing at 6 o'clock at Musical Memories. And then there's a Holly Jolly Christmas party also happening at the Central Bank Pavilion with a live DJ playing Christmas dance music. And there will be an ice sculpture with the ice... Um, the ice carvings with the ice sculptures and that's thanks to the Geneseo Foundation helping with a grant to help fund the ice sculptures so thank you very much to them and uh, but at, at six o'clock at night they're gonna do ice the ice carving but it's glow ice carving so they're going to put like fluorescent paint on these ice blocks and then they put black lights around it and they start carving it and so it's almost like a blue man group effect nice. where this uh, cool ice is it's like a ice firework you know and that's really cool to incorporate into the gingerbread house party theme and then I'd say another new attraction we're doing this year is the Gingerbread House competition at the Geneseo Art League and Gallery. Um, there will be gingerbread houses that um, people can vote on. It's open from 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. tomorrow at the Art League. And you just go in, you get a ticket, and you vote for your favorite um, gingerbread house. The, w the winner will be announced on the Geneseo Chambers Shop Geneseo Drawing next Wednesday on uh, Facebook Live. And um, the winner will get a $100 Geneseo Chamber gift certificate. They'll get a trophy for winning the Gingerbread House competition and then bragging rights for life. So um, the Gingerbread theme seems to be a big hit. If you even go through downtown Geneseo right now, you can see all the businesses who are decorating uh, right here at Geneseo High School. Mm -hmm. Kim Windish did an amazing job with the display at the front of the high school. And all these businesses who get into the spirit <laughs> of the theme. Um, that's what makes Geneseo special, I think, is that this event is special because so many businesses get into the spirit, they participate with living windows, they open their doors and stay open later to uh, help people warm up and get some holiday shopping done. And Geneseo is an amazing community, I think, um, in large part because of the Christmas Walk event. It's a cherished event in our region. Many people from the Quad Cities make the trip and make it a point to do this annually. And uh, we're expecting a crowd of eight to 10,000 people tomorrow. Awesome. I mean, that's, there's 6,500 people that live in Geneseo. So, um, you know, that's going to be a big crowd. I appreciate the city and the police department's partnership and public works to manage these large crowds because this isn't something that just you flip a switch and you throw a Christmas walk tomorrow. Uh, th we've been planning this event since May. We have a great committee who is committed to making this event a success. And uh, so many people do different things from managing the Central Bank Pavilion to the luminaries to the musical entertainment and PA needs throughout the community. So uh, we're looking forward to an awesome event and the weather is looking good. So we are green lights all around. Yeah. Glass man, you gonna have a float? <gasps> Not this year. No? I'm going to be okay. serving hot chocolate with uh, E Free Church here in uh, Geneseo. So I'll be posted up over there by Central Bank. So come say, the, say what's up to the glass man. Come over there and get some hot cocoa. And, uh, man, yeah, let's uh, do some awesome things this weekend. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. The city has been uh, been diligently working on our float entry the past couple of days. Uh, not going to give anything away, but... <laughs> Should be pretty good. Keith, are you coming out uh, to the parade? I think uh, I think I still may be videoing it. So uh, ah, uh, yeah. subject to uh, – uh, we had talked about maybe setting up a live camera yeah. and just kind of be, like, being in the back of the uh, city float doing that. But uh, it added a layer of complication that I really didn't want to get into. You have too many responsibilities. <laughs> maybe Keith. next year. But, yeah, uh, yeah no, it, and like you say, the weather looks like it's going to be uh, awesome. Looked a little bit questionable before, but, uh, mm -hmm. hey, we'll take dry any time. So mm -hmm. all good. No, Zach. Was there is there an opportunity for with the luminaries to purchase one with the message too? Or yeah. So yeah. last year we started doing memorial luminaries in which someone can write the name of a loved one who has passed on on a luminary bag and set it up during the Christmas walk event as a way to pay tribute at Christmas time in Geneseo to those uh, who we've lost. And it was um, pretty successful last year. We have more than double this year than what we had last year. And so those memorial luminaries will be placed in alphabetical order at the, what is it? It'd be the northeast corner of the south block of the city park, right? The original city block with the band shell. Uh, right across the street from the first congregational church. And um, the luminary bags will be there. Luminaries, to me, represent um, remembrance and kind of a somber moment with all the fun and jazz that we do with gingerbread house party and everything and how much fun Christmas really is. I think that's why I like Christmas so much is because it's more than just that, right? It's an opportunity to think of, you know, what everything means to you, including those who can't be here anymore. And luminaries always kind of represented that to me. They're beautiful, just that soft, quiet, get away from the crowd a little bit and walk through the city park. And I see people doing that with their kids today. Um, and that's, that means a lot to me. 
uh, to see people still enjoying that uh, tradition today and bring th that we brought it back at the chamber. Um, but the Memorial Luminaries, they're $5 each. Uh, you can get them at the chamber office through today. And the proceeds from the Memorial Luminaries will be benefiting Rebuilding Together Henry County. Uh, Rebuilding Together Henry County, um, help, they donate the resources to build the stage at the Christmas light tree ceremony. And uh, they've helped us out for years. And every year we pick a nonprofit to uh, help raise some money for for this event. And so this year we chose Rebuilding Together Henry County. So um, come on up to the chamber office at City Hall. And uh, we'll be open until 4 o'clock today. And you can get your memorial luminary filled out if you are so inclined. And uh, we will set them up tomorrow at the city park. Nice. Now, the theme is Gingerbread House Party. Mm -hmm. How did you guys come up with that? And how, do we, how do we get to these themes every year? All right. So um, every year we do a theme for the uh, Christmas walk event, right? Now, back in the day, it started with the Victorian walk. And everyone remembers and fondly of the Victorian walk. Well, last year we did Victorian walk throwback, and it was a major hit. The theme worked really well. But we knew that that was a one-year event, a one-year theme, and we wanted to do a complete deviation from that theme and do something that's more vibrant and modern and fun and almost like a dance party, right? And so um, the idea actually came because I was watching TV during the holidays last season, and they did a reboot of the House Party movie, right? The kid and play movie from back in the 90s. And I was just like, oh, that's funny. You know, they're doing house party. And then the next commercial showed some kind of gingerbread house. And I'm like, gingerbread house, gingerbread house party. And I started saying that a few times. I say to my wife, Michelle, I'm like, that, I think that'd be kind of a cool theme for a Christmas walk. So I kind of fleshed it out. We talked about it in the committee. And we uh, learned, looking back on past themes, we had not done a gingerbread theme yet for the, gin for the mm. Christmas walk. So it made sense. Everything lined up. And it looks a lot of fun. And I mean, you can see right now already how people are getting into the theme. And I can't wait until what it looks like tomorrow in downtown Geneseo. It is going to be a madhouse. It is going to be awesome. And it's funny because um, I've been told before, well, you know, I look at the Christmas walk schedule. There's so much going on. It's almost overwhelming. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it's the Christmas walk. There's Choose your own adventure. You know, there are 45 smaller events all bundled up into this. And it's a major event for, like, churches who are maybe raising money for their missions or um, nonprofits to help get the word out or businesses to have a great day, our small businesses in Geneseo. Tomorrow is one of the biggest days economically for our community all year long. And it's because we have so many people coming out to support the businesses. The businesses are getting into it. And it's just a working formula. But the mm -hmm. theme, if you keep doing the same thing, and I think that's one of the reasons why they changed the Victorian walk name, is you know you have the same theme. And are you kind of bottlenecked with one theme if you stick with something like that versus Christmas walk, where it's a little more versatile and you can go different directions, right? So... We already have a few more uh, themes in the shoot uh, coming up. I know our 40th anniversary is coming up in two years for the Christmas walk. Uh, but we always enjoy coming up with the theme and figuring out how to incorporate that theme into how we present the Christmas walk. Because Christmas walk is essentially a blank coloring page with the, with the outline. And every year we get to color it in a little bit differently. And that's what I really like about uh, the Christmas walk event is that you can go a million different directions with it from classy and old style to vibrant party EDM style fun and everything in between. So uh, we're looking forward. Tomorrow is going to be bonkers. It is going to be an awesome day in Geneseo. <laughs> and the, the theme is so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, and it's important to point out, of course, it's a fun day, but this is also a major, uh, the chamber driving this, uh, really an economic initiative for all of our small businesses. It keeps us vibrant and healthy downtown. Um, you know, there's people that call the city. We get at least a, a call a month about uh, an opportunity, you know, just kind of feeling out, eh, is there space open in Geneseo for a business? These are the things that really help drive that. And like Zach mentioned, you know, the nonprofit opportunities too. People don't think about that, but good opportunity for folks to bring in, raise money, raise awareness for a church or other organization that they might have. So very important. Um, Zach, uh, any other chamber updates uh, that you want to give us? I know we have some, uh, some board positions that are changing over, getting some, uh, some new, new folks in to the chamber to help organize these things. Yeah, and I mean, you know, our board of directors, they help govern the direction of our chamber. We've established a strategic plan this year, updated our website, uh, did a whole marketing campaign, and you know, it's not just a two-person show with me and Valerie at the chamber. And Valerie does an amazing job, by the way. Good morning, Valerie, and I hope you have a great day today. And thank Valerie, you, Valerie. You rock. Thank you for all your help at the chamber. <laughs> but uh, our board of directors um, is outstanding. We have such a great group of leaders there. So next year we'll have some changeover because uh, terms are expiring and people are moving on. But we have people coming in as well. 
So um, Ben Young has been our president this year, and we, we really appreciate everything is be- that Ben has done with the mural committee and helping us out and uh, keeping an eye on the hole-in-one hole during our golf outing. Thank you, Ben. But um, So Ben will be our past president, and Katie Kasunas of uh, Four Seasons, Pegasus, GWK Enterprises. She's our incoming president. This will be her third time being the president of the chamber board, so it's nice to have that experience and that leadership role. <laughs> and then coupled with what we're doing right now at the chamber, I mean, we're trending up at the Geneseo Chamber. It's completely different than what it was five years ago, and in a good way. So I'm looking forward to working with Katie and our executive committee. And then we have some outgoing directors. Andy Thurman with the Geneseo Park District. Uh, he will be wrapping up seven years of service on our chamber board. And then Catherine Rothschild of uh, Kathy Rothschild CPA. Uh, she will be wrapping up six years of consecutive service. Um, we have Adam Menard. He's a past president as well from Sweet Peas. And Joe Mowen with the Geneseo School District. Their terms will be expiring. And then uh, Scott Freeman, of course, because Scott will be moving out of the area. So um, we appreciate all of their contributions over the years. I mean, combined, that's like, what, almost 20 years worth of experience. And then um, we have some incoming board members as well. So we have Jenna Rushing from Hanford Insurance Agency, Brooke Emerson of the Geneseo School District. We have Stephanie DeMay of Hammond Henry Hospital, Sheila Wygant McGee of Sheila Wygant McGee Originals, and of course the Spook the Loop that brought in Butch Patrick, and then Hunter Seidel, he's the manager at Geneseo Culver's. Uh, these are our incoming board directors, so we look forward to working with them and collaborating with them and keeping this momentum that we have going at the Geneseo Chamber uh, moving forward in 2024. Nice. Nice, yeah. And uh, so one of those outgoing people sits with us today, Scotty Freeman, the glass man. What's going on, Geneseo? <laughs> so, Scott, you know, usually when we have people in here, we uh, we ask them to give us a little bit of their backstory. You know, uh, Zach just announced that you're actually moving out of Geneseo, unfortunately, yeah. but, uh, you know, you... Uh, uh, my interaction with you, you, you've been a really positive person to always be around. Uh, really enjoy that. Uh, it's nice to be around somebody who's always trying to uplift other people. And, uh, you know, I, I've appreciated getting to work with you on the Chamber Board and some other ventures that we've had. Uh, you've done multiple things to try to do good, uh, raise funds. We're about to do a drawing for one of those initiatives that you brought forward for the Geneseo Police Department. But you know, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. What uh, what brought you to Geneseo? Brought uh, me to Geneseo. Where Geneseo are you going? is just an yeah. awesome place to be. You know what I mean? Um, no, seriously though, uh, very grateful, man. You know, uh, my journey started pretty much about 11 years ago. You know, I'm from the Chicagoland area, from the from Aurora, Illinois, second largest city in Illinois. I'm very proud of that. You know, um, and I was living a pretty wild lifestyle, man. You know what I mean? And um, for those who know me, uh, know my story, you know, uh, I've been there and done it. And you know what? You grow up in life and you learn from your mistakes and you move on and you do better things. Um, and I made, there was a time in my life where I was at that point where I wanted to do better. So I moved down to Henry County, um, lived in the Kiwani community for about eight years. I was employed through a car dealership like with Crow. And I got into detailing cars, you know what I mean? And I worked there for, for quite a few, for, for quite a few. And uh, over the years, uh, I just, man, I had a passion and a dream to, like, clean cars. I was like, man, I just really like what I'm doing, you know what I mean? And uh, I like all styles of cars, motorcycles, all that stuff. And uh, I remember I was running this house from the dealership, and uh, it had a dirt floor garage, like a small little shack. You know, and uh, I was like, I'm going to detail small cars and motorcycles in this garage. Dirt floor, I had a blue tarp for a floor, and I had hung LED lights on the ceilings, and I had the the crappiest tools that anybody could have to product (laughs) business. And people would laugh at me, and I said, you know what? Go ahead and laugh, because I have a vision and I have a dream. So, and the point of my story with that is, is like, no matter what you're doing in your life, no matter what your situation is, no matter what you got in front of you to make things happen, if you have a dream and a vision and you have the determination and you have the motivation, you're going to be successful. No one is going to stop you. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. So that's how I live my life every day. So when I came to Geneseo, I was still working for the, the dealership and I kept telling myself, you know what? Uh, and then nothing bad about the dealership. They were really good to me, very good to me. So um, I, I was like, you know what? I could do this on my own and make it and make a living. So that's when it all started. The you know the you know working on you know for myself and everything. And then over these last two years, you know, what I mean, um, I don't know how it started, but 
I found a passion with uh, giving back to the community, doing, you know, uh, service work for other people, for uh, charity work, you know what I mean? And I think I've kind of enjoyed that more than actually being a business owner. You know what I mean? Um, I love giving back, you know what I mean? For me, it's doing God's work and to help strengthen your community, you know what I mean? Um, I've met a lot of awesome people here in Geneseo. You know, uh, a lot of the, you know, what I like about this town, I love about this town is the pride that we all take to make this place amazing. Uh, all the business owners, uh, even if it's stemmed from the city all the way down to the person that just shops every day, you know what I mean? We all, there, there, there's a lot of pride in this town. That's what I love about Geneseo. You know, and, and for me, charity work is, is I'm, I'm proud of, of when, I, when I do that, and it's simply straight from my heart. There's no motive. You know what I mean? I just want to see other people be successful, and I, and I want to share the love and, and the excitement that I have by giving back. You know what I mean? Um, I've done a lot of uh, charity work, and it just one led to another, and one led to another, to another, to another, and it just kept, kept going. You know what I mean? And that's something I believe in my life that will never stop. You know what I mean? So, but like uh, being a part of everything, uh, being a part of the chamber, uh, got involved with, uh, got voted in to serve on the board. And that was an awesome experience. You know, uh, I didn't really know too much of what was going on, but you know what? I gave it a shot and I've learned a lot from that. Uh, everybody that served on the board uh, that I served with, uh, I want to say thank you. And, and man, you guys are awesome. You know what I mean? Um, the other thing that I've been a part of here in Geneseo is Rotary Club. You know what I mean? I am a proud Rotarian. I love Rotary Club. I love what it's about. Um, and I also got involved and also served on that board and then also became the sergeant at arms. You know what I mean? Casey, did I have funny jokes? Ed? Great jokes. Great jokes? Great. They weren't funny? They were great. They were great, but... <laughs> <laughs> you had your share of groaners at the <laughs> meetings, I recall. Right on. <laughs> but I, 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 truly, I truly enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Um, it's like, like I always hear that Casey, you know, our, our awesome police chief, he always says it's uh, service to others above self. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's the, I kind of live by that, by, by, by that motto. You know what I mean? It's always about getting outside yourself to help somebody else, despite of what you got going on for, for yourself. You know what I mean? And Rotary Club is amazing. The, everything that, that takes place in that organization, you know what I mean? And I'm just very grateful for Everybody, I mean, you know, I am going to be moving back to the Chicagoland area. Uh, I actually got eight days, eight days and counting. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm going to make this next eight days more awesome than the, the past couple years that I've been living here. You know what I mean? And we're going to have some fun. Isn't that right, Casey? <laughs> That's right. So, uh, I'm, uh, look, I'm just real grateful that I was allowed to be here today, you know what I mean, yeah. with, with everybody. And uh, for those that... Uh, that, that's been a part of my life here. I just want to give a couple quick shout outs. I want to give a shout out, you know what I mean, to the city. Uh, Mayor Johnson, you're awesome. Uh, our city administrator, Brandon, uh, thank you very much. You're awesome to all of our awesome aldermen uh, and, 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 the, and the jobs that you do. Uh, everything down from the, the chamber all the way down to all of our business owners. I want to say ICC, Jen Johnson, you and your organization rock. Kid Rock of the Locomotive, you and your fine staff, you guys rock, and I hope you're listening. And uh, Nicole Lewis of uh, Reap and Sow, man, I'm very proud of you and what you're doing. I think it's awesome, and keep going in the right direction. And all of the other businesses that I haven't mentioned, there's tons of them. I don't want to take up too much time, but you guys take a lot of pride in what you do, and I think that's what fuels what happens here in Geneseo, so... You know, I mean, it's, it's just awesome to be, a, to be a part of that. You know what I mean? So, and uh, the Chamber of Commerce, you know, Zach Sullivan and Valerie, you guys are amazing. I appreciate you. everything you've done. For, I remember when I first met Zach, planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> yeah, it was about two years ago. Um, I met Scott, and uh, he wanted to do a video to get the word about his business out. And I'm like, <laughs> you better join the chamber then, but we'll do a video. <laughs> so we did the video. Get and your checkbook out. It was worth it. And, man, yeah, I mean, um, so much intersection between you being here and what we've done at the chamber with you getting involved there. I work with you in the Rotary Club and the charitable deeds, like, I wish that more people and business owners were like you, Scott, being willing to get out there and volunteer. And not to say we don't have that, but you are an exceptional leader in regards to giving back to the community. And uh, we'll miss you in Geneseo. You've made an incredible impact in two years. And I know that you're going to continue to make an impact when you move back to the Chicagoland area. Right. So stay involved, man, because everything gets better when you're around. Thank you. It means a lot. Yep. And one uh, last shout I forgot. I want to thank my church, uh, E-Free Church over here on Chicago Ave. Uh, 
everybody that's uh, involved with that. I uh, love you guys very much, and I'm going to be serving hot cocoa with them at Christmas Walk. So, Woo. yeah, that's going to be awesome. You know what I mean? So, nice. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Nice. Well, it's about that time where we need to get this drawing done here. Got about uh, five minutes till we got to cut out today. Um, so tell us a little bit about, you know, what, what, what's the drawing here? We uh, sold raffle tickets, and what is it for, guys? So Scotty was kind enough to uh, bring, this to, bring this initiative up, and we're going to uh, draw a winner here, and that's going to uh, include a detail from... I was supposed to have a detail in it. But you know that I am moving. But Jason Dahl of Underground Graphics, Coding Kings, has stepped up. And he says, you know what? I will uh, donate a detail. So um, when the, the name gets called uh, and when the person that wins the back, the blue basket, there's uh, going to be a detail from Jason Dahl at Coding Kings Underground Graphics. You're going to get a $20 gift card for the locomotive. And you're going to win a $20 gift card from Reap and Sow. There's a challenge pen from the police department and an awesome Geneseo Police Department T-shirt. So for everybody that participated, thank you very much. And where's the money going for this, Casey? It's going to go to the impact uh, initiative that we're doing at the police department, and that that, uh, stays local, and uh, it's all about helping others, and that's one of the reasons why we all do this job at the Geneseo PD, and grateful for Scotty. I'm going to miss him, so don't cry on me. So I'm, I'm going to miss him a lot. He's been great to work with. Want me some handcuffs real quick? And, no. And uh, I'm glad he didn't tell the story the first time we met. So oh, that's yeah. the right. No, you're not doing oh, it. No, no, okay. No. So, yeah, all, all these funds will go to, go to good use of helping others that, that will truly, truly need it. So thank you, Scotty. All right. To be honest, when I first met you, I didn't. When, when you said you were the police chief, I'm like, he's the police chief? Like, really? You just, you just, I don't know. But it's awesome, though. I'm nothing bad or none. You know what I mean? So, oh, yeah, sure. All right. Well, the time has come. Uh, we're going to do the drawing. Who, who, who should pull the winning ticket? Should Scotty pull it, or what do you think? What do you think what we should do? I think Scotty. I think Scotty, Scotty pulls yeah. it. Yeah. Exactly. Here. Okay, Shake Brandon, uh, Brandon, Brandon shaking awesome. up the, uh, the glass jar. The glass uh, jar with the glass, the, man, uh, baby. the entrance right. in it. Casey's unscrewing the lid, <laughs> sliding <laughs> the jar over to Scott. Can we, get a, it, oh. Can oh. we get a drum roll, Zach Sullivan? <laughs> Joy to the world. <laughs> All right, you ready? You got it. I got it. A name has been pulled. What do you think it is? You ready? The suspense is killing me. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is awesome. Look. So, I am proudly to say that the winner for the Back to Blue Raffle, oh, yeah. right here in Geneseo, is Tina from Nash. Tina! Tina, All right. yeah! All right. This is exciting. Congratulations. So uh, today what I will do is I will stop by your store and I will hand you the Back to Blue basket. So thank you very much for everybody that participated. And uh, congrats, you, oh, I can't even talk this morning. Congratulations, <laughs> Tina. Yeah, All right. Awesome. Congrats, Tina. And uh, thank you very, very much for being here, Scotty. Thanks for telling your story. It is really a, an inspirational. Absolutely. It's an inspirational thing for us to hear this morning, I think. Um, a couple other things we do want to mention. Today is the last day to vote for the Geneseo Municipal Electric Holiday Lighting Contest. We have uh, eight displays that have entered in town. And uh, drive around, check them out. You know, tonight is the last night, 11.59 p.m., to cast your vote. You can do that by visiting the City of Geneseo's Facebook page or website. Vote for your favorite display. Um, somebody will win uh, an electric utility credit uh, wow. if they win the holiday lighting contest. So check that out. Uh, I do want to mention that uh, the Geneseo Police Department is still doing the gift of mobility drive for durable medical equipment. You can donate things such as walkers, uh, wheelchairs, shower chairs, things of that nature. I can't hear you, Casey. Uh, You're doing great. But uh, <laughs> they are accepting donations through the end of the month, through December 31st. Drop them off at the Geneseo PD. Those things will go to uh, Rebuilding Together. Rebuilding Together, Henry County. Uh, for those who uh, may not be able to afford that equipment themselves, they will donate those goods.